What's going on everybody? It's your boy here, Big Bro Pro with another deck profile. Man, I've had a very long week. I've uh, been playing this wonderful Traver Gate deck, wonderful Spice for for you guys. Uh, finished in a 3v3 just this past weekend um, at a versus games for Dawn of Majesty. Uh, I won my top four matchup, but it's a 3v3. If your team's not doing good, you're not really doing good yourself. And won an OTS map for the Ecclesia. I have like numerous like top eights locally and remote dual wise with it. But let's go right into the Traver Gate deck. So, you're probably thinking, it's Traver Gate, it's standard boring. You got the three Fractal because it's standard. Three Kit, three Nerval, two Karras. I know I've been an advocate for playing three Karras uh, over the uh, the Kit, but it, I understand. Kit is better than Karras um, of more functionality to get into a Nerval. So, you play that. For the Hand Traps, you have three Ash, three Bell, I'm just playing uh, that for the monster hand traps. You still have the three imperm. I'm playing standard nine. Um, I did not miss uh, gamma. Didn't miss uh, skull miser and nibiru in the main. Like this is just pretty good. I just wanted to be streamlined to beat every deck in multiple ways. If you have to go around like 12, 12 rounds, this is good for twelve rounds. Now we still play the Zeus. Or the Zeus to go into Zeus. Uh, Thoroughly because of the draw power, right? Because it's an easier way to get to Chakan. These get to Chakanine, and also the deck is in theory. You want to build it like a uh, mermaid deck. Um, any two monsters gets you into the best card in the whole entire deck. While well, you have to play it, the wonderful strongest dark um, spellcaster in terms of attack and defense and black dragon because we're playing the fable dragoon so these cards uh everybody now knows how to beat the normal charge game deck Appaloosa revolt is not as strong as it used to be uh rugo revolt dragon lord it's not really as strong like even if hand traps now people are playing uh, around them correctly or just playing the right cards to play through them correctly you can't really no one's ever prepared for dragoon and this card is so uh, warping in the match that you have to play outside cards to beat that. When you're playing outside cards to beat a Dragoon, you can't really keep up and be like, oh, I have to go against a Traffic Gate card still. Dragoon Revolt is also disgusting on its own. <laughs> uh, so we play the Dragoon package. We play Triple Tactics, Triple Tanky, Barrage, Call by the Grave, and Monster Reborn. So we're not playing Pot of Desires. Why? You're playing Dragoon pieces. You don't want to uh, banish the pieces. So you play uh, Tactics and Replacement because one, if your opponent's hand trapping you, you can see their hand. Uh, two, you can also take their Dragoon if, they're, um, if they get anything with it. And Monster Reborn is an extender and also Tactics is your draw card. So it kind of fits all, um, all purposes for this. And then I play to Revolt. Two strike and the god card itself. Uh, this is it's good. Um, sometimes I want to play three revolts, but you don't want to like add clunkiness to it. This is at best through all my playtesting and multiple tournaments I've been entering. It's just ran really good. Possibly Monster Born can become a revolt, maybe kind of, but this is just good. It's a 40 card list, too, and in theory, you're playing 37 because of Bear Broom and Blossom are also uh, taking those bricks and putting them to the bottom of the deck. But I'll get into details why Bear Broom is not as good as it used to be. <laughs> so, you play the two cards for Dragoon. As I'm saying, any two cards leads into Anaconda. Your opponent is normally going to be Ashing, Valoring, uh, your uh, Charlie Gate monster effects. So you have another line of play if you can't play the normal deck. Uh, you have access code, Appaloosa, Double Shurag, the Rugal, one Bear Broom, and, uh, double Dragon Lords, double Blossom because it's an extender. Um, also, you draw a card, it's a mulligan for your own, um, your bricks. You have a brick in hand, put it to the bottom, draw a new card. Al Mirage, and because we play Zeus, you have more to get attacked directly to go into Zeus. Chakanine, once again, gets it to Blossom, gets it to Anaconda if they try to instruct it any way possible. And you play the God card itself. So this deck plays 
the best of all worlds. You're still playing your normal Tribe Gate Zoo deck. You have another answer to play Zoo, um, to play Dragoon, and Dragoon is still threatening. You Dragoon the gate, you pitch a Nerval or Kit, you have, you're getting your extender, you're fooling up your Grave even more. So, and then for the sideboard, say like, for all my events I've been playing, that's the same sideboard, probably like, little changes here and there. Uh, double Nibiru, Double Droll, Contact C for the Mirror Match, and this is a wonderful card, Retaliating C. This card is beautiful. Oh my god. Dry Tone players are trying to play around um, uh, these cards with the ashes and bells. They can't really play around this one because they have to play Metzionis to play the deck. Uh, this also beats now Prank Kid's way of playing more fusion cards, more fusion spells. This stops the runner trying to play around contacting C. And plus, this can search this. Then for the others, you play 3 for Ohm for Ben Chalice. Um, been talking with people like Andrew Fredella. Been running ideas with me since I gave him the list. Uh, this can become droplets, which I think is correct because the times I'm losing with my Dragoon on board is because droplets is a godly card. Uh, triple Twin and the Red Reboot. Red Reboot is just Red Reboot. You sell a back row, you play your deck, you can uh, solidify the game state with a Shurag. And the crazy thing is that you can still play the normal Charbagate deck and still go into Dragoon while you're setting up everything else. So this is 40, 15, 15. This has been a wonderful deck. Uh, first, I want to give a shout out to everybody. My boy Hunter, the cameraman right now. Hello. Uh, Aaron V, because Sanctum is not. And I want a big shout out to you guys viewing this. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if I can get 500 subscribers by the end, by October 2nd, my birthday, if you can get 500 subscribers, I'll be giving away two boxes of Versa Destiny once we get them in, in November. So keep an eye out for that, and see you guys later.